Hi. I was talking about Katarina Janus, a Swedish children's book writer. She expressed her opinions on the refugee crisis and crimes and so on in an interview in the Czech Republic. And there was a group of people, I call them a cult. These are people in the media and in culture, you know, uh, actors and what, what do you have? And they started a witch hunt on Katarina Janos. And this is still going on. And there was even a stupid uh, bookstore owner who decided to throw her books out. See? And they all think, I, that's what I believe, they believe that they do a wonderful job. <laughs> And they're doing the right thing, you know, fighting against racism. So what happened? Well, Katarina Janus' books started to sell like crazy. So she's moving up the charts and she's doing very well. So being in conflict with these assholes, these assholes, these cult bastards, is very beneficial to her and there's a reason of course because people are disgusted with this group they are disgusted with the fact that you can't express your opinions without them starting a witch hunt and people are in general disgusted with the situation as well with the crimes and the refugee crisis So they go and buy her books. Well, makes sense. Here's another thing that I am disgusted about, and I'm sure when people hear about it, they will also be disgusted. All right. This happened also in Uppsala. Uh, I don't know if I told you, but this bookstore owner has this bookstore in Uppsala and this happened in Uppsala which is a town north of Stockholm there were three guys from the Middle East they have been apprehended and I think this happened this morning yeah I'm pretty sure about it they were apprehended suspected of rape and this particular rape is particularly disgusting because it's so evil and awful and disgusting. Weird, it's weird. So, they started filming prior and during the rape. And they broadcasted it live on Facebook as they were doing it. Uh, this is a young girl that they have somehow got hold of. And um, as this event took place and was broadcasted live, people were watching of course. And several of those watching it called the police. And the police, thank God, reacted immediately. I, that's what I understand. Because they came into the place while it was still going on. And as they came in there, they came there, the broadcast, the broadcast ended. According to one person who was watching the live broadcast, this woman who was raped was totally drugged and she was lying there as if she was dead while these guys were raping her. Well, well that's very cute, isn't it? Yeah, so this is something to be disgusted about. This is something to deal with. 
see. I'm pretty upset about this, actually. Mad. So, uh, this cultural and media cult, they are now so far away from reality. I mean, it's, it's like you can't see them anymore. But still, they believe they have something to do here. They really think they are like warriors for uh, justice or something. Okay, so, and I want to congratulate Katarina Janusz. Well done. If I had kids, I would, I would for sure buy your books. I don't have small kids anymore. So, but congratulations. It's well deserved. And thank you for speaking out. All right. Bye.